planner friends it's Ashley we are setting up my catch-all and my social media planner and I'm really pumped for this I'm excited to dive into some new planners in 2021 and some new layouts I'm just ready ready to get started into this but we can't skip Christmas so I want to have Christmas and then it be January 1st <laughs> so we can use our planners but we're gonna get this thing set up and ready to go but first I want to tell you about the deluxe cover because I do get a lot of questions about this cover this is from the Happy Planner, but it was released, I think, two years ago. Was it two years or was it last year? It was like last year or the year before. I honestly don't remember. It's really hard to keep up with all of the releases. But this was released um, last year or the year before, and it's going to be really, really hard to find them especially the black one. Now you might be able to find like a yellow one or a green one or something like that at Michael's if uh, they haven't sold out of them, but I love this deluxe cover. It's been my favorite. Now they do have a portfolio. Let me grab it real quick. They have this portfolio, which I love too, and this thing is super functional and you can put so many different things inside of here, but I've decided not to use this one just yet because where I'm at home right now all the time, it's easier for me to get inside of this one and get to my planner. All I have to do is snap this off and then boom, there's the planner. But once I'm on the go again, I'm definitely gonna be using that portfolio because I love that thing, I think it's gorgeous. But since I'm at home, this is the one I'm gonna be using. And then from there, if I didn't say it already, I might have, all of my planners are from the Happy Planner. I also have an extension pack that's from a Happy Planner. And then I have these label stickers that I will be using on my divider tabs inside of my planner to label the different sections. So let's go ahead and dive in. The first thing that I'm going to do is back here in this back section, we're gonna take this folder out because I didn't end up using it. So we're gonna go ahead and take that one out of there. And then I'm also gonna take, let's see, that stays in there, that stays in there. I'm gonna take out all of these pages and I will set and go through these later. I'm not gonna go through them right now. Some of them will stay in here, some of them are gonna go, like the birthday one I know will stay in here the summer bucket list that one can come out of there uh, but I do want to go ahead and take these out now and then later on off camera I will go through all of these and decide which ones are staying and which ones are going to not stay and then from there I am going to go ahead and take this divider out and the first thing I'm going to set up is my social media planner now for my social media planner I will be using this dashboard planner. I love this one, it's my favorite. It is 99% neutral, which is why I love it. And I love the dashboard layout because it's really functional. Now, I already have December in here because this was a July start planner. So it started in July of 2020 and I've been using it ever since as my social media planner. And I'm gonna continue doing that in 2021 because I love it. So we have December in here. This is the current week, that's next week. And then it has some of January. Oh gosh, we have to wait till January the 4th. Goodness, that's okay. So anyways, I am gonna go ahead and hop in here and we're gonna take January, February, and March. My plan is to set my planner up for a quarter at a time. And I use these little sticky notes in here that way whenever I take like December out, I can put it right here and it's easy for me to get to. But my plan was to set my planner up for a quarter at a time and that's what I'm gonna attempt to do here. If Hopefully everything will fit in here good. So we're gonna go ahead and add January, February, and March. If you are franken planning your planner and you are adding like planners to discs, the best way to do it is to take a month at a time and add them. That seems to work the best. It's not too much, but you also get the entire month put in there. Because sometimes if you have too much, it's really hard to get them on the discs. So that'll be my social media planner. And then before that, actually let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so this one here is an extension pack and it is the goals extension pack and I'm going to continue using this and I love using this one for an hourly layout so I can block schedule my day.
but it also has a place where you can set goals, where you can have a task list, and then in between each week there's this things to follow up on and weekly focus pages. And then at the end there is um, a notes section and then you have upcoming projects. So I really love this extension pack. It's super functional and I love using it to block schedule my day. So we are going to add, how do I want to do this? I think I'm just going to add January in there instead of January, February, and March. That way I have plenty of room to also add my catch-all in between the two. And for this one, I really won't be planning ahead in it. So I don't need to have more than one month at a time. Oh, see that one is more than a month's worth of pages, so it was kind of hard to get on the discs. There we go. Now this extension pack is undated and I do have stickers here and I'm gonna take these stickers and I'm gonna go ahead and slip them up here. So then that way whenever I go to date it, I have the stickers in here ready to go. So this is currently December and as you can see, I'm not been very good at dating it because the stickers were not in here. I think I dated, yeah, dated it the first week and then after that, I haven't dated it anymore. So we're gonna keep those stickers in there so I can have easy access to them. And then here in the monthly section is where I will be pre-planning. Here's where the goals are going to be. And I think in this section is where I'm going to add some lists that I've created. So I have this one, which is a goal sheet. I have this one, which is goals. I have my planning routine, morning and evening routine. And then I also have a cleaning routine here. And I think I'm gonna stick both of these in here so I can constantly be coming back and looking at my goals, my routines and things like that. And they'll all be in one place together. And if you're wanting to see all of the different inserts I made for my planner, like these ones, I do have a video up on my channel showcasing all of those. So you guys can check that video out. But I think that I'll keep those there. And then I wanna add a divider here so it's easy for me to get to this section. And I think I'm gonna use this one because this first divider, actually that's not gonna work. I like whenever my dividers go in order. So we have like the, the tab that's over here to the left, the next one's kinda of in the center, and then you have one over here. Um, but this is December and I will be taking December out of here. So what I'm gonna do for now is we're gonna swap these two. And so when I come into this for January, my goals will be the first thing. And then this one here will go into like the weekly pages so I can get to those quickly. But for now, this one's gonna stay up here so I can uh, finish December out in this extension pack. All right, and then in between these two planners, so in between my block scheduling planner and my uh, social media planner, this is where my catch-all is gonna go. But I kinda have a little bit of a dilemma. And if you watch my lineup video, you know that I am struggling to choose one of these planners to use for 2021 because I really wanna use the line vertical layout, but I really love this planner. So I think what I'm going to do just for the month of January is add a month of each one of these in there. And then I'm going to alternate back and forth for the weekly pages and kind of see which one I'm going to use. So we're going to start with this one and I'm going to take January and we will add it. Actually, what I planned on doing, and I think I'm just going to stick with that. I keep trying to change my mind and that's just not, it's making me more confused. What I was going to do is I love the dividers and the 
monthly section in this planner more. This is a horizontal layout. And I like those two parts more than I do this one. And then this one's aligned vertical. So I think what I'm gonna do is, see, what I would normally do is I would take, like let's say I wanted to use the line vertical, is I would take this page here, this is would be the first week in that planner, and I would stick it here, and then I would take some adhesive tape and stick those two pages together. So then I had the monthly section from the horizontal, and then you flip it over and you have, would have a lined vertical. But because I'm not 100% for sure yet if I'm gonna use the horizontal or the line vertical, I think I am just gonna put one month of each in there and then I can decide week by week what it is I wanna do. And hopefully by the end of January, I will have a decision on those. So after this one, we'll go this one. And then once I decide, I will go ahead and add in February and March for that. But once I once I figure that out for sure, I will update you guys and we'll do a full walkthrough of it. Um, the other thing that I wanna do, let's go ahead and take this out of here. I want to change covers and name pages. So the name page I wanna use is from the horizontal one. I love the name page in here, it is so stinking cute. So we're gonna use that one. I normally don't use the currently pages, nor do I use these ones, so I'm just gonna take the name page. And then I'm also gonna use the cover from the horizontal one because I really love this one. This one says, this is my year of dreams coming true. And I love that, so we are going to use it. So we'll go ahead and add the name page really quickly. I have these little thing of sticky notes here and I'm gonna leave those up front. And then now we're gonna add the cover. And I'm gonna take this cover and I'm gonna stick it on the horizontal one to help protect the pages, but I'll do that a little later. Oh, and that looks so cute with the black discs. Love it, love it, love it. So there's that, and then from there, I'm gonna add a content section to the back here. So here is where I have note paper, and I'm gonna leave this in here, because I do come back to this often, so we're gonna leave the note paper there. But I wanna add a content section, and for the content section, this is where I will be scripting out YouTube videos. So I have this clear divider, and I'm gonna use it for that and then I'm gonna grab some note paper and stick inside of here. Actually, I'm gonna swap both of these dividers out really quickly. I forgot about my Mickey and Minnie dividers, you guys. And I definitely wanna use those. And I know, pulling those out is really loud. I am sorry. Um, but I wanna use these ones and they go like this. So this one will be for content, this one will be for notes. And then for note paper to plan out my YouTube videos, to script those out, I'm gonna use this one. This is the Mickey Mouse paper, and it says, make your dreams come true. And I like it because you have lines up top and then there's dot grid at the bottom. And then, the back sides of these sheets have these long list and I was thinking this would be a great place to jot down things like tags that I'm using, links that I need to get and stuff like that. So I really love these pages. I think that they're going to be awesome to have. And we're just gonna stick a little stack of those in there. 
And then I have notes, pa note paper back here, which this is, I can use this for anything and everything. If I need to jot something down really quickly, if I have a brainstorm I wanna do, I probably need to add some more note paper to this, but I think for now we're gonna be okay. So I'm gonna leave this stuff here. Now, let's see, I need to take my labels and label the dividers. But this first divider, this one is really dark and you're not gonna be able to see the labels. So like this one I have, it says calendar and you're not gonna be able to read that at all. So I'm gonna take the jewel toned boxes sticker book. We're gonna put a sticker up there and then the label. And I really love these pretty blue ones in here. So we're gonna use this one. This is like a grayish color, grayish blue. And we'll stick this on there like so. And then we'll put calendar on there. That way you can actually read it. This one, I may have to do the same thing. Let me see. For this one, it's gonna say goals. And this might be small enough that I don't need to use a sticker. Yep, okay, so that one says goals. And then the next one, which I forgot that I needed a divider for, this is gonna be my catch-all. So let me get a divider for it. I think I'm just gonna use the clear one up here because I like whenever you can see through the divider. So we're gonna stick the clear one here. And this one is going to say personal. Even though it's a catch-all and I have like family stuff in here, cleaning schedules and things like that, there's not a label that says catch-all, so we're gonna go with personal. And then next up is for social media. And those two things can go. Now this one I will have to use another sticker on it because you're not gonna be able to see the label for that one. So we're gonna take, uh, let's do another, that other blue one. So I really like this one, like the grayish blue one. there's that and then the label for this one is going to say business i didn't see any that said social it might there might be some in there that said social but i just didn't see them so we're just going to put business and then this one i have one that says well wait a minute i got one that says notes and i want to put the notes back here because this is going to be like note taking section where I have note paper. And I need to find one that is for this one. And I found this one, it says just saying. <laughs> How cute is that? I love that one, that's gonna be perfect. So we'll put that one right there. It says just saying. That one's really cute. Okay, and then from there, I have one more section to set up. Actually, wait a minute, didn't I put those? here yes okay okay here's what I did so I pulled out a label that says routine and I was gonna use this one for my morning routine and uh, my cleaning routine and I thought about setting a separate section up for that plus my planning routine but I think I'm trying to decide if I want to leave them here or if I want to add another divider in there I think we could do another divider and it wouldn't hurt anything but I kind of like them all being here together so in the mornings as I'm doing my planning routine I can come in and I can see my goals that I have set I can see my planning routine morning routine my cleaning list for the day and then I can go from there planning out my day so I think I'm actually just gonna leave it and we're not gonna add a new section to it so let's go ahead and do a flip through of this and I will kind of explain everything. So when I first open this up, we have sticky notes right up here, which I use these often whenever I'm planning. We have the name page. Now for the name, I'm not gonna write my name in here. I'm actually gonna order some stickers from Etsy and put Ashley there because I do not do very good with calligraphy. 
So this will be the name page. And then from there, this is where we dive into, uh, it'll first show goals normally. So I can see my goals that I've set. This is where I have my goals pages. I have routines, morning and evening routine, cleaning list, priorities list, and then it'll go into where I actually block schedule my day. So this is when I set out chunks of time to do things throughout the day. And then from there, we go into what will be my catch-all planner. Now my catch-all planner, like I said, I'm not 100% set on, on what I'm doing here yet as far as planner-wise, but for catch-all, this is where I literally plan anything and everything. So this will be schedules, what we're doing that day, um, any appointments that we have, Cub Scouts, things for my son, for my husband. And then from there, we go over here to my social media planner. And this is where I will plan out YouTube videos. I plan out what I'm posting to Instagram. Also, I'm a health and fitness coach, so this is where that information goes. And so all of that goes here. We have January, February, and March on this one. And then from there, we go into my scripting zone where I will be scripting out my YouTube videos. And this is the one that says, just saying. I love that one, that's too funny. And then last but certainly not least, we have a notes section. And this is literally for taking notes on anything and everything. And that is right back there. So that is it. That is going to be my catch-all, my block scheduling, and my social media planner setup. I'm really excited to dive into this thing. I cannot wait for it. Like I said, I'm excited for new layouts. Once I, once I figure out which layouts I'm actually going to use for 2021, but I'm really excited for this. And if you have any questions, as always, please don't hesitate to ask. I hope you have an incredible day and I will see you in the next video.